Hello YouTube, what you're looking at here is a Kimber 1911 Ultra CDP2 and 45 ACP with a modification I did using blue painters tape to do pinstriping on my gun. Ha, just kidding. Seriously, it's just covering up the serial number. Um, what this video is not about is the Kimber 1911. There's plenty of videos on that already. What it is about is a tool that makes taking down the Kimber a lot easier. How many of you have heard, oh, Kimber gives you that little Allen wrench takedown tool, but if you lose it, just use a paper clip, okay? Not me on my $1,300 gun. Or, if you were a real man, you could take your Kimber down with no tool. Well, maybe so. I've done that. Uh, the recoil spring system is under a lot of tension. Uh, you can do it, but I still think this is easier. This weapon has been triple checked before I even turned on the camera. There is no magazine in it. There is no round down the chamber. The weapon is in the slide locked position, as you can see here. And what you probably can't see, or it may be tough, is the tool is inserted here, because we've got a black on black thing going here. But the tool simply looks like this. Okay, it's a Delrin plastic or Delrin sleeve with a slot cut in it, two specific diameters on each end, and it snaps right over the recoil spring guide rod assembly, I guess you would call it. And it snaps in under tension. Okay, so there you can see it right there. I can jiggle the gun, turn it upside down, do whatever I want. That's not coming out because it snaps around the rod with tension. Okay, I like that because as you see, as you will see when we disassemble this weapon, it can't fall off thereby letting the spring release, and you don't want that. So, okay, so from the slide lock position we insert the tool and the only reason I'm not doing that on camera is it's hard to do it around the camera I don't really have a professional video set up so I've inserted the tool onto the guide rod simply snaps on and now I'm going to release the slide lock and what you'll notice is when you release the slide lock we are perfectly lined up with the half moon position which is the position for removing the slide lock so at that point you slim, simply reach around the back of the weapon with your index finger or that's what I do and pull the slide lock out note we were not under tension there note we see it's perfectly lined up I was not wrestling trying to hold the slide lock and then push it out what does that create? Oops, scratch. Okay, worse yet on the way back in. Tension, holding the slide lock, reach around, push this thing up in, but not too far because you don't want to scratch going this way. So just for that, I like this tool right there is enough to sell me. But after you've done that, you simply slide the slide forward and disassemble the weapon as you would normally and of course this always pops up during a video but there you have it now like I said this is on there to stay okay drop it throw it around of course I'm not gonna whip it across the room or anything but it's on there to stay I think it's great you saw how easily the weapon broke down and it goes together just as easily in reverse order of assembly and uh, once you get the slide lock inserted you simply pop the tool off and your weapons back together and ready to go this is from a company called NDZ performance I will post all the information in the sidebar or the additional information area on YouTube I like the fact that this is plastic no chance of scratching the weapon okay um, it's a great tool. I can't say anything more about it except it's a simple idea that works. I'm going to use this all the time rather than the no tool or paper clip method. So with that, we will 
close out by giving you one last look at the paper clip because I will never use it on my Kimber again. Thank you for your time and uh, I hope you order some of these tools because you'll really like them. I'll post the information in the sidebar.